Okay, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to a brand new episode of Energized. We are live. Uh, we're on we're, the tube. We actually are on camera. Uh, we tried this a couple of weeks ago, but um, it didn't work. But uh, here we go. We're back on YouTube. Hello, YouTube world. YouTube fam, what's up? Yeah. We're like- First of all, if you were back to the Energized show, make sure to smash that subscribe button, right? Smash it. That's it. That, I think that's going to be your smash job. Smash it. Hit the bell. That's going to have to be your job. Hit the bell. Yeah. Uh, get if, those notifications. If you aren't aware, myself and Ross were like, right, once we get to 10,000 followers on Instagram, this, 10K. Is, this is where we have to return to. And um, Ross, we went over it over the weekend. Uh, far ahead. So many people asked to go, when are you going back to YouTube? Yeah. When are you going back to YouTube? And we were like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> and we took ages to get all the gear to go back on YouTube. And now we have all the gear, so we have no real excuse not to be on YouTube. And we're like, oh, we'll wait till we hit 10K. Once we have 10k, we'll do it. 10k. That that actually seemed like a joke. Even bring that up ages ago. I oh, know, yeah. Yeah. But now 10,000 uh, followers on Instagram. We're gonna be able to do the swipe up onto the YouTube channel. Yeah. It's Gucci. It's Prada. We made it. We made it. But uh, if you are new to the Energize podcast, welcome. And if you're a returning Energize listener, welcome back. Welcome back. This is the setup. We always have the Irish flag behind here and. Uh, the this will art. be aerosol arts fan made poster poster but uh on today's show we're going to be discussing the new algorithm going down on instagram how instagram are going to take away people's likes and not show everyone that because uh the internet are really kicking up about that uh also then we're going to move into the crack of the week because the champions league semi-finals are almost o- over and done with europa league semi-finals and the premier league rat race is still going on to right now uh, at the moment manchester city are winning one nil at the moment. Vincent Company with won the goal of the season contenders. That's a that's a leader for you there. Scoring long range or centre backs. And then we're going to go into the main part of the show because Brock Lesnar has officially retired from the UFC, and uh, he his supposed opponent, Daniel DC Cormier, our mate by the way, he's booked in to fight. He's booked in the Stay fight. Stay tuned to find out who. Yeah, so we're going to be discussing all the crack. Make sure to hit that subscribe button because we come here weekly, and uh, you probably should too. But uh, Ross. We're after hitting the 10,000 now. Um, like Now, all of a sudden, Instagram's like, right, we're going to take away the likes. We're not going to show people how many likes you get. Um, what you make of this, man? Because a lot of people are like, who build careers off this sort of stuff, they, they need people to see it, you know? I reckon they not won't ju- do Not it. just Mary from posting her glass of Chardonnay down in the yacht. I don't think they will take it away. I think it was an idea they threw out there. And they want to see the feedback from the public. Backlash? Yeah, I think so. And It doesn't make any sense to do it. People enjoy their likes. People like doing it for the likes is like yeah. a saying. Doing it for the gram. Uh, doing it for the gram. And I don't see why they take it away. Is it to sort of help the person who doesn't get any likes on their photos? And then make them feel more vindicated for their social media? Is it? It could got to be... Be doing with like bullying in school, maybe. Um, like obviously, like I, I, I don't know. Well, why don't they take away under 18s likes? But like, they're the ones that are driving this platform, you know. True. Well, like, yeah. I suppose they could always just change their date of birth and have, yeah, but that's what loads of them do anyway. You yeah, know? I don't know what age you have to be. I think you have to be like 15, 16 to have it, but like, there's, there's definitely like 14 year olds yeah. anyway. Yeah, I, I, I just don't see it working in any way possible. No. Um, people like to know how many likes they got. Also, companies who are paying influencers to promote stuff, they want to see that interaction level. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, man. That's the thing. Like, we're obviously different to other people. Uh, important this way. Like, I haven't posted on my own Instagram this year. I think the last time I posted, I was saying congratulations to you to having a, a kid on the way. But I haven't posted on my, my own either because I know anytime we're getting a photo, it's like, right, it's for the page. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because we're for, trying to build a media it's company. funny like you meet Dave Beckham you're like half the weight yeah yeah uh, yeah. that's the way it works yeah we're not like it's not doing it for ourselves yeah, yeah. there's <laughs> no there's no I was there's trying, no, to, be, I was, I was trying yeah. to be like this was, This is exactly what it's not but uh, it's not like yeah, having lunch because Jade turned to me and like as you know there's like no photos of me and my family in my house whatsoever it was just like not a thing we don't take photos ourselves and Jade turned to me and was like we're going to get loads of photos of us and the kid. And I was like, or oh, whatever. And, and I was like, oh, I don't really get photos. Like, I don't go get a photo of me and the lads. And she was like, yeah, you do. And I go, 
well, friend of Joy's. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, that's, that's different. different. That's different. different. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's the go with the content. Yeah. So it, it's, it's like, like if, if you want to be successful with this show, you have to get it. Yeah. It's a decision that I make to make the show better and yeah. make more people click on it and listen to it. It's not like the photo of me and Bruce Buffer. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so many people have that like, why am I famous for getting a photo with Bruce Buffer at yeah. the UFC event? It's like, because you don't do anything Barbie in that photo, but... Yeah, yeah. I, see, a lot of people don't get it. That's the thing. Um, like, they were talking about social media, and they're like, right, like, my dad is, would be on Facebook. Like, he like he would have taken... Like, he probably went went against his will to actually go onto it. Yeah. But, like, now, he's probably like, oh, it's sort of shitty now, but it's because, like, everyone sort of moved off that island. Yeah. You know what I mean? They've taken the raft onto Instagram. Mm. Like, your mum started being on Instagram now as well, but she where she was on Facebook... And then the problem is, if you post on Facebook, you almost have to post something different on Instagram. It just works in a whole different algorithms and shit. But like myself and Ross, growing this from absolutely zero and people being like, stay them lads to like building it up and just putting out cool content. Do you understand the difference? No, um, 100%. The other day, oh, I'm going to find a Some fella. He asked me, Ryan Richmond, 125. The first DM he's, uh, he's ever sent us. I'm getting married yeah. today. Give me a shout out. And I was like, <laughs> send us a picture of your wedding. And he sent one. And I was like, oh, what a shout out. I go, first of all, I have no idea how long he's been following us. I've never seen that handle before. And he was like, ask for a shout out. And I was like, what does he want? Like people who listen to our podcast to follow him on Instagram. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. If people want shout outs, we've said this, shout us out and we'll shout you out. Yeah. It's, it's not that hard, really. No, it's really not that hard. But I was like, why, why are you sitting there on your Wednesday messaging our podcast and asking for a shout out? Yeah. Show me like practicing your vows, no? Yeah. I oh, know it's crazy. People are doing crazy shit online to... But he got a shout out anyway, didn't he? Yeah, to get a bit but of notoriety, like, yeah. I, I, unless you're doing something, I don't get it. Exactly, yeah. But it's so obvious what we're doing that we're trying yeah. to create like a good show. Yeah, we're always trying to create the best podcast we can possibly do. Yeah. We're trying to become Ireland's like number one podcast. Yeah. Obviously, when we just turned on the mic, I was like, I mean, the camera, I was like, oh, might be a bit nervous or something, you know? Like, but like, are you? It's grand. No, it's grand now. Although, so like, sometimes I keep on forgetting to look at the camera because I forget it's there. Yeah. But. Yeah, but I don't think you're really meant to overly stare at it. See, before we used to sit side by side and both look straight, whereas at least this way, it's like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, there's obviously some people who've like helped us out the whole way, just being sound. And like obviously someone like Rory Crowley who's tuning in from like Australia all the time shouting us out. Yeah. It's just um he can obviously see the growth. Even people like Jamie Hickey, they followed the growth. And yeah, now it's just have, now yeah. it's just like lads what ten thousand is like, yeah man. I said I was gonna get an energized tattoo. Um I've no idea where I'm gonna get it because I never I was like, that's never really gonna happen. Also what what yeah, what, what one are you actually gonna get? What, just either the letters or the logo itself? All right, well, like, I'll, I know you might say get like stay energized or something somewhere. Uh, I've never, uh, I, I haven't really properly thought about it. I was too fixated on being like, right, get the numbers up. But like, it's it's funny because like I'm not sitting on my own one trying to build the numbers up. But yeah, like, it's not for. Yeah, it's just it's, like, not, it's not like how Barry Moore can be a celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, it's not instance, like I'd never even want when we did we did a radio production course with each other thirty four years ago, probably now, and like it was radio because I didn't want to be on camera. Yeah, you didn't want to be famous. Yeah. You wanted to be like. Well paid for talking, yeah. but then to walk down Graff Street and I'm go, oh no, I don't know who you yeah. are. Yeah, because like if I wanted to be on camera, I would have done TV production. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. So, and then uh, we just kept going ever since, and uh, obviously the growth has been, hasn't been that fast. But like as we keep doing more exciting stuff, more people taking interest. You have to be like doing something. Like you have to be like yeah, you have to be juicing some sort of content. You can't yeah. just be boom selfies in the mirror. Yeah. That doesn't work. That's getting a bit overly done and there's just, everyone has their arses out these days. You know? Yeah, but now all the gym people are like surpassed by the OnlyFans people. It's like, OnlyFans, yeah. Because really see you have like 100,000 16 year old lads in Dublin and they want to follow the hopper with their arse out. But now yeah. if there's a hopper like, getting their tits and their arse out, it's like, right, well I'll follow that one. Yeah, but it seems like every hopper is getting their arse out these days. Well, but like, I think that's just like the standardly done thing. I know, but like the people who like originally set up their pages to be the gym person, that's that market is so watered down. You can only follow so many girls with their arses out, or else you're just, oh, 100%. or else you're just watching page three permanently on Instagram. You're like, what's the, what are the lads at? You know? Yeah, you, there has to be some sort of, you know, information that you retain from watching someone 
that makes you come back. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's sort of like as well... That's uh, like some sort of nutritional advice or some sort of gym plan. Yeah. Or some progress to follow. Like if I did yeah, something... Yeah, progress, I was like, yeah. If I was like, oh, I can only squat 60 kilos and then like you follow me on a journey for six months and then I can squat 120 kilos, you'd be like, oh, look at him go. He's doing well. Yeah, but you know, I think all that gym stuff, watching someone squat go heavier by 20 kilos is actually just so boring and you'd rather see someone be like, right... I'm going to run Mount Everest and in a hundred days time, I'm going to do it. So therefore you're like, oh, I'm going to actually f- follow his journey. That's why MMA fighters going through oh, a whole fight camp. You're like, oh, percent I'd be more interested in that. Yeah, but if I was, but like, if I was like this, people. if I was like this, watch me squat, like, oh, 20 kilos extra. It's like, oh. Yeah, but there are real. some people who are like interested in other people's gym journeys. That's what they're into. I, yeah, but I think that more happened on Instagram because like, that was the only sort of thing that was going on Instagram, burn nice photos. But now it's just, now there's like people competing to have only fans accounts and then lads who are shredded you know what i mean i just think like for girls if you arrive on instagram now and you're like 25 26 yeah. like you're you're not all of a sudden gonna get your ass out right but like the the younger girls like 18 year olds all the like, even the 16 year old girls are doing it. i'm like can't follow them you know i don't want to be like <laughs> it's like why is baz following her but uh no obviously don't follow that shit but like you can see you're like you're like oh my god they're like really getting very sexual it's very it's strange it's very unenergized yeah it is very unenergized it's strange but they have massive followings as well so if you're like 25 and you rock up with your RSO with only like 300 followers it looks a bit weird but like all these younger younger people they, they're they going to like the Gale Talk they're going on the holidays they're going to like Euro languages and stuff in Ireland so they're like meeting all these other kids making great comp- like company with each other all growing together you need to be in and around people to build up yeah but I think like school. Put it this way: if you went to a new school every year, and you got everyone in that school to then follow you on Instagram, yeah. you know what I mean like you'd have like three thousand Instagram followers, yeah. by itself. That's why I feel like if you're in school now or in college and you're planning on building up anything, like whatever class you're in, I think the professor or the per- the lecturer, anyone who's in charge, should be like, here, look, you should all just be friends together because you never know or follow each other. You can even mute them or whatever, and but like you should all follow each other's journey because you never know someday later on who used to be in our class could have the money and be like, here lads, use are trying really hard. Boom. Add that to your thing, grow more, you know? Yeah. Yeah, well, it makes sense. You, know? yeah. you don't lose anything by following someone. Yeah. But the same thing in school and stuff, it's always going to be the same thing. Like, the jock is going to have more followers or, but like also, the sort of quote unquote geeks back in the day, they're more like Fortnite people. They have big followings or else like, the, ch- the head cheerleader will have more followings, all that sort of stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. The cooler people are always going to... Yeah, the cooler people are always going to have an above average following. Yeah. But that's only in school, though. And then once yeah. you leave school, then the whole game changes, you know? Yeah, but then you can get a following for doing anything. You know what yeah, I mean? exactly, yeah. If you were, if you were like, oh, they wear is Adidas clothes, people might be like, oh, what's the latest Adidas gear? They might follow you to find out what the latest Adidas gear is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, you can have a following for anything. Yeah, it was just... It was sort of harder for us because on Facebook, you're only friends... And your distance reach only goes to a certain amount, like a certain amount of distance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Organic reach. Whereas on Instagram, we have followers from all over the fucking world, man. And it's just like, they help us grow. It wasn't like knocking next door and being like, please share this, please. I used to hate doing that, lad. <laughs> knocking like, next door. I was, I was just like, lads, please share it. Like, <laughs> please, yeah, man. Lads, just like, we share our latest <laughs> YouTube video, please. Just share like, it, man. Yeah, and you used, to, you used to feel like you were asked for a five or something, didn't it? Yeah. Even because, though you were asked for two click of a button. Yeah, yeah. But like people really care what they shared in their Facebook, and now yeah. it's just like now because we've built up the audience. Because like in fairness, like we do funny stuff, but like there are people. I share, share anything on Facebook now. If someone's like, yeah, although you wouldn't share your man what Rich's wedding. Yeah, on Facebook or not on the gram. Yeah, yeah because like our Instagram is there for you know a funny poll or to ask who do you think Canelo should fight next. It's not there to go yeah. share it to Rich on his wedding day. You know what I mean yeah, like I people won't follow the page if that's what we're about. I know it's uh, it's also a thing I don't like about it. Yeah, you know I mean like I like the way we can have a bit of crack, but like see, see the way I had to do the video the other day, and then I wrote down "stay energized" on the board backwards. Yeah, but like when I was recording it, I was like, "Oh, that's backwards," and then I had to re- rewrite it the other way around, and I was like, "Oh, you had to redo it, so it wasn't yeah. like the first time." Yeah, but it's sort of like intimidating knowing that you're gonna have that many people looking at you, and you're like, "What ten thousand people looking at you?" Yeah, it is intimidating. You well, know I mean? it's like Johnny Sexton kicking the uh, kicking the Aviva. Yeah, but he had like what sixty thousand. I think it's only forty thousand the Aviva. It's just like you have like ten seconds to get your point out to so many people, and we have people who don't even speak English following us just because it's like 
wacky zany guys. The Irish it's guys. The Irish lads. <laughs> Conor McGregor's best friends. I don't know why we put, put on an American accent to say, you guys don't speak English, but... Uh, <laughs> Guten Tag. El, Rus- El Rusco and El Basmo. <laughs> energized, though. Very energized. It is very energized. But, uh, yeah, to wrap that up, I don't think Instagram are going to take the likes away. Yeah, it's just the people that don't have the followers are the ones complaining. Yeah, I think so. But, like... Not in a bad way. Yeah, but also, like, I like to see how many likes a photo gets. Not, you know, my own, just in general. But more so on a a celebrity's account or something, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's just interesting. But also, you have those people who, like, you've clearly bought, like... 30,000 followers yeah. and have like six likes in their photos like yeah. ah you know what I mean yeah and like imagine someone like I'd feel bad for a company if they were like pumping money in someone with 30,000 Instagram followers and they're all fake like all of them and they were getting six likes in a photo yeah like I know I, I, I think that's terrible like that's robbing someone if you know what I mean I know yeah I know yeah I, I know that like yeah. that would be me like ringing up Nike and be like hi it's Ronaldo got a new bank account you wouldn't have put the money in there instead would you and they go, I know. See, si, senor. <laughs> yeah. But they look at, a, at just the number on the page being like, oh, they have this many. But like 20,000 out of the 30,000 are bought. And it's just yeah. like, you know. And then you're shaking hands knowing you're lying. Yeah. It's just not worth it. It's just karma. No. That's just karma. But um, yeah. What's your, what's your favorite platform, platform at the moment, Ross? We'll obviously wrap this up now shortly. Like, uh, there's obviously Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. If you're a business now, or like if you were someone who wanted to be an influencer or a gym person, what like what do you think is the best thing? It's all best about platform. the gram and it's all about YouTube. There are the two is, ones yeah. where I'd invest my money into. Um, and you know what? I think subtle like product placement is actually the way to go forward. If you know what I mean, like yeah, if you had Casey Knight sat there, right, mm-hmm. and I don't know, just say you were. Sponsor your Coke and you want to sponsor Casey you know, Noistat. Yeah. If he was just drinking a Coke in the start of his video and that was the only Coke advertising at the start of the entire video, yeah. I think that'd be more than enough to subliminally get people to go, I agree with you. Coke. That's you, what I drink. Do you think you, you're you just like, right, that's a good idea because you've grown up through this whole evolution? Or what, like, what, what makes you think that? Because I know certain companies are like, no, this is the way to do it. And it's just like, any time an ad pops up in my thing anywhere, I'm just like, skip or like swipe away. Like, I've no time for it. And if, if I can't manage to turn it off, I like, hate that company forever. I'm like, never getting Dublin bus again. I think you need <laughs> to be a bit more smarter about what you're using to market. And you need to almost look at what's hot right now. Like, if I was doing an ad right now, I get one of the Game of Thrones characters to like, be in the ad and say something you know what I mean I don't I, even I, think they're I that good to, I, get, I get them to put on like a jacket and be like winter is coming you know what I mean and then and then that would be the ad you know what I mean yeah like that's to me that's smart because you go oh I see your man from Game of Thrones saying winter is coming in the jacket ad you know what I mean and they go yeah brilliant and like millions of people watch that that's I think that's what you need to do you need to be like on the money yeah but you don't know any of their personalities though yeah, but you almost don't need... But I'm saying, like, if it was not for TV, that's what you need to do. Or I'd well, be... Well, look, someone like, put, it, put it this way. Someone like Joe Rogan. You're like, that guy. If Monster just sent him Monsters, and you'd be like, Joe Rogan drinks that Monster, I'm actually going to try that one, you know? Oh, 100%. Like, yeah. They're, yeah, that's than, what you like, want to be doing. Rather than someone in a TV show that is playing a role. Like, if Nate was like, yeah, smoke 20 Marbo lights there, and now 30. You know what I mean? It's not like... Oh, I'm just saying there's many, ways to, there's many ways to skin the cat. There's, there is no necessary right way because there's no wrong way yeah, either. Yeah, but we've someone sitting at home being like, first of all, who, who are these lads? Who the fuck are these lads? But also, if they're looking for a bit of help on how to grow their stuff, what would be a, one thing you'd tell them before we move on? And give it your A game, man. Give it your A game. So they'll share this. They'll subscribe. They'll give it to like. They'll be like, Ross, that was terrible advice. I now have to go into liquidation. I think if you want to actually get sponsored by a brand, Sponsored by a brand. <laughs> what you need to do is, you probably need to pick out the brand you want to be sponsored by. Yeah. And it needs to be a brand you want to be passionate about. Like, me and Barry drink Monsters all the time, right? Shout out, Rebel. And if we want to get sponsored by Monster, in every episode, we should go, we love Monster. And then hopefully enough people will watch the show and go, they love Monster, and then Monster will reach out to us. So therefore, you actually get sponsored by the company you want to get sponsored by. Yeah. 
Now, Monster will obviously be a hard one because they're like Lewis Hampton, Conor McGregor. Yeah. Energized. You know what I mean? It's a tough one to get sponsored. Well, it's only a matter of time, Ross, in fairness. We have yeah. the number. Like, they, they look at the numbers. So. We're growing slow, slowly but surely, yeah. to be honest. But it, it just means to be, well, actually, a bit faster than slowly but surely. But in fairness, I think yeah. you almost need to pick out the sponsors you want and you need to go, how do I get them to notice me and sponsor me? And that's the way you need to do it. You need to be on YouTube as well. I, I, yeah. Like, we were putting this off for so long, but it was just like, we weren't ready or something. I mean, I know I felt like we were ready, but it was just like, we like I like obviously like I set such high high standards and I just wanted to be perfect that I was just like maybe they don't want to see it. Yeah. Well, look, Gary V always says that it doesn't always have to be yeah. perfect. He nope. was doing Wine Library TV and like his man and dad were coming. He was like, "All oh, right, how's the form? You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect. No. The content just has to be good. That's it. At the end of the day, yeah. And like you, YouTube people will find you. People, it's really hard to find people on Instagram, you know? Yeah. Unless it's like, Ross, check this out, or you check this out. Yeah, or even when you tell someone to search, because once you get any any sort of notoriety, some like fake accounts are set up with your stuff. Yeah, and like... Like, how many fake Mike Tyson accounts are there? There, there must be a hundred. Yeah, and also you don't know who who's actually like a good person behind it all. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you don't know who runs them all. Exactly, and what their motives are. But um, if you enjoyed that crack, make sure to subscribe, give us a like, let us know what you think anyway.